easy. We can do this. It comes with, do not want to drop it. Okay. Can you guys see that? What to me was the price of it. Like, yeah. This is Bruce Howlett. Anyway, well. Okay, so now that we have the lamination done, and I think they look pretty good. I wish that I would have maybe concentrated right here in the front where it matters the most. Hello. Um, but it's okay. I think the rest of them look pretty good. Now, as you can see, um, we definitely need to clean these up. This is definitely not a done job. So I have my wax warming up already. And this is the waxer that I got off of Amazon because Amazon is where it's at. And I, I actually waxed my eyebrows yesterday. So this is what we got. I, I'm gonna do better next time, but I didn't take any before shots. Um, but it did really good. I mean, for me not to have been waxing, I've been in school probably five or six years. So I did pretty good, I think, from the things that I could remember. And also, I kind of refreshed. I refreshed. It's like continual learning. We're going to use hard wax on the brows. And I think because, again, this is all kind of foreign to me, I usually get my eyebrows done by somebody else. I'm going to make sure that I don't mess this up. And I'm going to take an off white pencil this one is by Revlon yeah, so just any kind of pencil it could be any color really honestly by the time it's all said and done you can wash it all off it's makeup but um, we all kind of know this by now but your eyebrow has a starting point it has where the arch is supposed to be and it has where it's supposed to end now it is always up to you what you want your eyebrows to look like but and also sometimes your eyeball literally doesn't make it that far people sometimes have wider set eyebrows and with that you can still fill them in but you know it's just don't be so hard on yourself so i'm going to actually it needs to be more like this i have a big nose so i'm gonna do mine like right here instead of like out here because then it's like up there and then that gives you the wide eyebrow look Oops. wide set eyebrows um so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take it right here so make a mop on both sides and then I'm going to do my arch which is going to be right in this area so right like on the outside of your iris and let's put a mark right here how about that again look straight ahead which I'm looking over here the height of your brow is supposed to be the height so and then the very end of it is coming from your nose so your nose boom so now we have boop 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 so we have our starting point our highest point and our ending point okay <coughs> now I just want to be careful with this situation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to like you guys can see that it's a pretty faint line but hopefully you can see that and the same thing oh and it feels so weird right there because whenever i cut my eyebrow it severed a nerve so this feels really weird right here it feels like i'm riding on leather on someone else because i don't have any i don't have much feeling so this up here is supposed to be my highest point but it's kind of low it's kind of Uh, 
don't know back in the day we used to try like make it straight right there well for a lot of people like myself when i make my eyebrows go straight across right there then you have like those eyebrows that look like that you don't really want that you kind of want the whole thing to be flattering right especially if you have um you want your eyebrows to be arched you don't have the opportunity to get that if you start so square right here Mine kind of dipped down perfect how I want them to. People are so picky about other people's eyebrows. Do you notice that? So the warmer has been on for about 20 minutes, so it should be good to go. Um, they give you a bunch of stuff with this. So if you, I'll put the link down for the warmer because it's like really good price. They give you a bunch of stuff. You have like one two three four five packs they're pretty small but five packs of hard wax today i'm gonna use the lavender one that's what i used yesterday and um, they give you some pre-wax and some after wax which i mean is really good sized and then they also give you the rims for keep it Okay, sorry guys, my com my camera died. So, um, I'm about to wax. What I'm gonna do, just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna do one on camera and then do the other one off camera because I don't know how all my equipment's gonna work together, like I mentioned before. So I'm gonna go real quick. I have my warmer. It's been warmed up. Um, it might even be too hot now. Let me see here. So, whenever I was in school, I was pretty much the one that everybody called on when someone needed their eyebrows done. And it wasn't because I was great at it, it was really because people were really shy, I guess. And I'm not shy at all. So I would always just go up there and do their eyebrows. So I kind of know what I'm doing, kind of haven't done it in forever. I did do my armpits, like I mentioned, um, and they look pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and start. So you want your... Um, so first of all, I have just a little bit in here from leftover from yesterday, so that's perfect amount for eyebrows. Um, second of all, if you see this stick, it's kind of a weird shape. It's because I'm actually taking these big sticks and just snapping them in half for me. If I ever needed to do someone like my mom or somebody who wants theirs done, I would just use these, but since they're so little, they're so few, and I don't do any double dipping, um, I would definitely just save these for someone else and I'll just, um, use the big sticks because I ordered a whole bunch of them on Amazon. I actually thought they were this size. They looked like they were this size online, but they weren't, but that's okay. Um, just snap your stick in half and you kind of want a skinnier side. It's perfect for eyebrows. So, um, here's the consistency we have here and what you do to break that little string is just spin it. Now since it was sitting here for quite a while, I'm going to let it cool just for a second. You just keep twirling, keep twirling, keep twirling, keep twirling, keep twirling, keep twirling, keep twirling because um, if not, it's going to fall. Now, it's also really important that you get a certain amount on your stick. You don't really want it to be on the back side. If you can, scrape off that back side. Put it on. You want to get obviously as close to oh shoot as close to that line that we drew as possible and you're going to just keep twirling 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 until you get that little string off of there i probably could have gotten a little closer but that being the first one and then just like that it's already done so i'm going to put this mirror down because i have to do it both hands so what you're going to do is you're going to pull the skin tight. Make sure the camera. And snatch it off. And I got a few in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It got a few right there on that line. But I did not get them all. So let's try this again. Let me get a new stick. Let me use this one. Get this out over here this time. Okay, we don't have that on the back like that. And what I'm 
gonna do this time, instead of going this way, I'm actually gonna snatch downwards because you typically wanna go along with your hair and then pull opposite. And since mine are going upwards, I'm gonna snatch them down. I'm gonna pull as tight as I can and snatch off. I just have a lot of hair, so it's having a hard time. Can you see that? Can you see those hairs, all those hairs? I think I just need to do it a few times because the truth is, I haven't had my eyebrows done all year and it's March of 2022 so again we're going to go in i'm still going to be one eye but really i'm going back and forth because um i don't want to overlap myself so i'm going to make sure uh -uh, my, my wax is cooling down let me turn it up not 200 relax okay put it on about 175 it's cranking up as we speak but first while it's warming back up i am going to my eyebrow brush and kind of just brush them up a little bit. And we're gonna trim. There's some scissors here. That we used earlier, but of mirrors because you need to be able to have some perspectives, some different perspectives. Just like in life. And it almost looks like when you do that, it almost looks like you wax the top. If you see how like clean that top on the let me try to clean this one up a little bit sharper. is going pretty good Not for now let's go back to the wax make sure your wax is warm enough and i'm gonna do the top part this time Don't get too close to your lash or to your actual hair because it's, it is going to smush out. So when it smushes out, it's going to be everywhere. And then also give yourself a lick on the edge so you can actually pull. going guys and I will be back with the final product okay so I just got done waxing and now I'm about to go in with the after wax stuff and see what I need to do next I might need to go and get me some a tweezer a pair of tweezers and uh, 
some good any ones I may have missed. Or if it's good to me, then it's good to me. Hard wax is really controllable if you know what you're doing. Um, and definitely know what you're doing before you decide to do this. But I think it turned out pretty good. I think it turned out pretty good, especially considering all of my eyebrow issues. Um, but I will say a couple tips. Um, the smaller the stick, the better. You don't want it to be like itty bitty because you're not going to get anywhere with this. But you don't want it to be humongous, you know, because then you might, those, that's how you can do too much. Um, make sure you leave room for when you apply it because the wax will ooze out. So make sure you use that and just work with the wax, you know, think about what, what what would wax do you know what will wax do because it's gonna happen right now I need to kind of be a step ahead of it if it's drooping down you know move a little faster so the temperature has to be not hot but it needs to be to where your skin is like wow that's warm because then when it gets onto that hair it'll cool and then it'll kind of get tighter if it's not warm enough it won't ever be able to can really grip onto that hair and then you're gonna put it on with the way your hair grows and then pull your skin tight so you can like tighten it up a little bit and then go the opposite way in which you laid the wax down. So if you put the wax on going like this, hold your skin and rip it like that. If you took the wax and pushed it up, hold your skin and pull it down. And there you have it guys. But um, let me see here what we can do. Yeah, I do have a few. I'm gonna get some tweezers and tweeze. And then also I'm gonna do my lip. Actually, I'm gonna do my lip first. And this is gonna be intense. But also this is really fun. So, my hair grows down, so I'm gonna do it down. Uh -oh. myself enough and I when I say give yourself a lip give yourself an edge you see how this top side is real thick that, that would be perfect if it was down here but I didn't give myself enough so you gotta let it cool and then flick until you get it yeah ow, and that freaking hurts so be careful okay this is gonna hurt so bad okay so I'm gonna pull my mouth tight like this. Got him. Ugh. Actually, it wasn't that bad. I thought I, was, I thought I was gonna go bad. Okay, now look at this side. I don't even see these hairs right here. They're real fine. They're real little and it's extremely normal for women to have a little fuzz we are human we are mammals after all same thing i'm gonna go downwards this time i'm gonna try to make a lip for myself yeah there we go a little bit better <sighs> hibbit the black so oh god that one hurt that one was a good one. I'm gonna do my chin. Okay, I'm, I'm getting like wax happy, y'all. Oops. Also, make sure that you're pressing it into your skin pretty good. Overall, this was a, a success. Everything I use will be down in the description bar below. Now, I'm gonna go tweeze and be back with the final, final product. All right, you guys, so I just found out that I didn't really take any after pics, so I just wanted to kind of show you really quick. I appreciate you guys sticking through and watching this whole video. Please give this video a like and subscribe, and as always,